after putting out 20 episodes we happened to take a two week break honestly it was unplanned and i almost forgot how to go back to it but hey 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 here i am hashtag disciplined hashtag consistency i hope you guys you have been keeping warm first of all thank you gracias muchos danke do you know we hit the 500 downloads mark and surpassed it i mean i was really looking forward to the 500 uh, downloads because i thought it was so far but just uh looking on and seeing that we surpassed it i'm amazed i'm amazed by the support i'm amazed by the time you guys just take out to listen to the podcast and i'm so humbled i celebrate the small wins because i know big ones are coming so we are back with this fire episode oh where we talk about the effects of religion on us us meaning the people in the episode a few disclaimers do not listen if you do not have an open mind and secondly this episode is not an attack on your belief system neither is it intended to preach against any particular religion these are personal views shared and this is only the first part have a listen good times good times my fellow humans if it is not good then it's about to get better. Welcome to the Be Different Podcast. My name is Nekesa Uchieng, and I am glad to have you here. Welcome back to another exciting, exciting episode of Be Different Podcast. I have with me two very loud people, <laughs> and I love them for being loud, and I'm grateful that they've managed to show up make time to do this with me so please kindly introduce yourselves yes let's start with you hey my name is gazua i i'm a friend of nikki she's really cool and uh, today i just think we are going to have fun yes yeah yay, yay, yay. hi my, my name is wanjiro nguhe i'm also a friend of nikki Although may I call her Nekesa, I don't know Nikki. Um, <laughs> and I'm so happy to be here. And thank you for having me. Yay. Yeah. Welcome. Thank you, guys. So we're going to talk about the, do I call it effects of religion or how we consume religion as Africans. And of course, we're going to share our personal experiences. Therefore, let's just dive in. I want to start with the first question. And you guys... Uh, let it let it come as it will come. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. So, how did you encounter religion? Let's start with Gadua, then Wanjiru. All right. Uh, I didn't encounter re- didn't encounter religion. I was born into it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, at some point, yeah. I did, I don't know where one began and the other. I just happened. So mm-hmm. I grew up in a very Christian household. I was given um. I mean, a Christian name, of yeah, course. Yeah. By the time I was born, there were prophecies around me. Yeah. Even before I was born, I yeah. was a prophetic yeah. child. Mm-hmm. You know? <laughs> yeah, so I grew up in that kind of environment. By the time I was five years old, I was had made the sinner's prayer. Ooh. I said I'm a sinner, and looking yeah. back, I'm like, why, why, why mm-hmm. am I a sinner five years old? Yeah, so I guess for me, it's just the environment, the context, everything. I was just born into it, right in the middle and the center of it. Wow. Yes. Sinner's prayer at five years old. Yes, please. Can you imagine? Come back to that. All right. All right. So for me, I think really we encountered each other with religion. Like there was no hiding from it. My home wasn't like overly religious, like mm-hmm. Gadua's home. Mm-hmm. But then on Sunday you go to church, you pray before every meal, you you know, and I used to go to Sunday school in the, at the nearest church. The nearest church was a Mokorino church. Okay. It's called no, I don't want to say the name. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. So we would go there on uh, like like on Sunday, and I remember we used to give testimonies. Like below five years old, and because you're imitating what adults are saying, yeah. so we would say things like in Kikuyu now, I was a motheria. Motheria is someone like an adulterer. Oh. Because that's what you know, like that's, that's what, what adults were like. saying. So even you people, you think, okay, like this must be the way Christianity is done. You stand, you you, you, you confess your sins, <laughs> and you talk about how you're born again and how God has saved you from being an adulterer. Now you're not an adulterer anymore. So you grow up with that thing of, you know, like a religion is a thing that that 
you 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 have to have sins to confess. Yeah. If you don't have sins to confess, then are you even doing this religion right? Mm-hmm. So there's the guilt thing, the the awareness of what you're doing wrong. Mm-hmm. But then I did not hear. I don't think I remember hearing anything about I'm a good person, mm-hmm. I am a beautiful person, mm-hmm. I'm a brilliant person. It's always the bad things. Yeah. So there's there's if audience lie, for the bad things. If you cheat, if you lie, if you cheat, mm-hmm. so those are the things you talk about. But you don't talk about the good that you're doing, mm-hmm. which is a very that was my introduction to it. Wow. Having encountered religion that way, you were born into it like you just, you know. Can you now look back and tell us how that affected you or that or how that has affected you? Okay, I think <clears throat> like anything else, uh there's always a positive mm-hmm. to uh, anything and a negative mm-hmm. to it. Yeah. I guess the positive side to religion I was told I was taught values like love, mm-hmm. caring. Mm-hmm. The negative side of it is that it was used as a tool of control mm-hmm. to control behavior. Mm-hmm. So you're told you're a sinner, you're five years old, you're yeah. a sinner, mm-hmm. you say we sinners prayer, mm-hmm. and you say and you're told God doesn't like sinners and sinners are going to burn. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you're five. Yeah. You're five. So yeah. uh, that's the other side of it. So you, you over time you realize it's being used as a tool of control so that you tell a child, um, if you do this, Jesus is crying. If you do, yeah, that's what I wanted to ask you yeah. guys. Were you guys told if you lie, if you, you go to, to hell, hell yes, you're going to, to hell. hell. Yeah, yeah. So it's going to hell and you, you belong to the devil. Mm-hmm. And you see some of these things, are, and actually looking back, it's something which I've reflected upon mm-hmm. because I mean, you have to be curious as a child. Yeah. You have to taste sugar, mm-hmm. you have to try food, you have to wonder. Mm-hmm. And whenever you see a, a sign written wet paint, do not touch. You you're a child. Touch. You want to touch. And yeah. it's part of the growing experience. Yeah. <laughs> but then being told you belong to the devil or you're, you're going, going straight to, hell, to hell or Jesus is crying and Jesus, <laughs> Jesus is feeling the pains again from this on, on his hand. Oh, yeah. You're and taking Jesus, yeah, Jesus back, back to, to the, the cross. cross. Back to the cross. At, at you, are, you are the spear that is not, was used to spear. It is like, because you're making And you're five years old. Yeah, and I remember asking, if everyone sins, Jesus must be in constant, constant pain. <laughs> I mean, because, I mean. Well, those are the things. But then over time you realize it takes away your curiosity mm-hmm, and it yeah. affects you even as an adult. Because mm-hmm. you, you think life it bottles is... you up. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So I guess that, that's the positive mm-hmm. and the negative side of it. Religion, religion has experienced Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So for me, religion has experienced it. I think it was a, um, the positive is that I found friends, I found belonging, I felt like I belonged to a thing. So we are all in this place. We can be friends. We are. I mean, well, even the friendship, it, it, it was a good thing. But then you're brought together by by problems and by. So we are repenting. We are doing all these things. And also what he's talked about the like the control and and in all fairness our parents had so many things going on mm-hmm. so it was easy for them to threaten you with hell than to explain to you why stealing is wrong or to explain to you why you cannot have sex maybe for example yeah. to explain to you even the way i got saved i didn't get saved because i even understood salvation me i felt bad for jesus mm-hmm. i was like wow i'm a sulubishwa i love analia i love wanda toa damu i love guy i'm a school yeah jesus hey mimi ni umekubali story you have got because we watched to do the passion of the christ yeah. to do heaven's gates and hell's place do even the movie, the movie of jam just like i yes miss our mimi aki me i didn't ask you to do all these things but hey yeah miss okay thanks mm. but then also it it it, it also does something with your self esteem because like i said you're only focusing on the negatives mm-hmm. you're focusing on the things that are making jesus be pierced on the side mm-hmm. but you're not focusing about what about the beautiful things that you are what does that do to jesus mm-hmm. that, does jesus glow does he grow an extra you know, mm-hmm. inch of hair. Mm-hmm. Does he grow? Do, do, you know, do his teeth become whiter because you're a good child? <laughs> yeah, you're doing we're, good things. We, we're actually doing good things. So, what space do Christians have to flex? Mm-hmm. Like, listen, I'm a really good artist, I'm, and you will see it. You you'll hear people saying, "Oh, you look really good," and they tell you, "No, it's Jesus." I'm like, "What's wrong with you? <laughs> what, what's wrong with you?" Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, let me tell you my version. Okay, I was also born into this. The same, the Christian home, yeah. prophetic. You can hear Come us. On. I'm a Queen Esther, people. <laughs> that, that, is a, that is a pastor. Yes. Yes. Your mother is. Oh, you, your father is a pastor. Yes. Yeah. And my your mother, mother is, is a pastor. pastor. <laughs> well, my grandmother was just. <laughs> there were guild auditions of the guild movement. <laughs> so yeah, I was born, and I guess I'm the third boy. So the first two kids were born in a home that there was no salvation, or there's no, there's no religion, mm-hmm. and then my parents got saved just before. 
Yeah. My mom tells me the way she used to fuck. Come on now. Eh? Mm. When she was pregnant with me. Your first thing when you're pregnant. And she used to preach. What eh? is that? What is prenatal? I can't, I can't even. <laughs> I tried to imagine that. I yeah. can't. Yeah. And then the day I, I was born on a Sunday. Gioni. Let me tell you, I had mm. no chance of not. <laughs> of veering away from you know yeah. this yeah those are the things that i used to be told then i was told you know you used to pray before you talked girl, okay. girl. <laughs> girl. so all these yeah. things uh are the things that i used to be told when i used to like i don't go to church mm. it's sunday morning i don't go to church yeah my dad has told us if you don't go to church he won't pay your fees and then don't go to church don't put on earrings don't put on these things don't put on anything beauty is in the heart you need to be humble yeah, we we'll talk about you. <laughs> it's protestant you know okay. and it's just some version of things how he understood yeah. the bible and yeah. how he used to translate it to us so that's where and for me it's very violence comes to mind <laughs> that is very violent and violence the violation of it yeah yeah we couldn't go to the salon we couldn't get our hair painted mm-hmm. We couldn't and now look at us, we are dreadlocking. <laughs> we couldn't put on trousers. Yeah. We couldn't have any bangles, earrings, things. Makeup. No beauty. No, as a girl, you're just... <laughs> no makeup. You know? <laughs> yeah. Put on skirt, funga nyole na kitamba, go to church. And it wow. just used to be... For me, going to church was passing time. Tumekuja juu tunalipiwa fees. Wewe well, ulikuwa unaendea fees kwa kanisa. Oh, you, you can't even feel pretty. You're not you even know? allowed to feel pretty. Wait, I mean, nobody even told you you're beautiful on your hands. Exactly. Uh, yeah. You know. I mean, there's, there's us and then there's you. <laughs> <laughs> what? So, Mimi, violence yeah. comes to mind. Exactly. When I think yeah. about religion. That, yeah. that, yeah, that, that. Violence comes to mind. Blackmail comes to mind. Mm. Manipulation. Manipulation comes to mind. Woo. And now all those things that you guys have said, you know, mm. when you steal, when you do this, when you do this, you know, things will happen to you. You know. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. then you don't know what you're doing. You don't know what you're doing. You don't even thinking about being a better person. You're thinking about not being a bad person. And to make it worse or better, no one really starts with me to explain to me mm. those things you're saying, like pole pole, yes. that Jesus dying on the cross. And you're freaking five and you're freaking five. So now you're carrying the weight of Israelites, the yes. weight of Palestinians. And you're five. And then imagine you're watching that TV with a kitab on your hair. Because yeah. you can't even plate your hair. Yeah. 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 But, uh, I, so I, you know, I, I, Okay, for the record, right now, Neki has a dreadlocks, a metaboa mapua. I have an earring. I have an earring. I think I can see mascara. I shared the two earrings. I have a lipstick. Yeah, yeah. Come on, damu. Na peteta no. Of course, we had to go like extremely the other side of things. Yeah. What? When you get your chance to run, you run. And you riot. You riot like yeah. The, you are yeah. a moving. You are you are a riot inside. Yeah. Like you are you are housing yeah. a riot. Yeah. 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 Volcano. Because that's what that's what this other side is what you've known and what you've encountered and what you've grown up with. Yeah. So there are decisions we have made along the way. My gosh. Eh? You ah. gotta marry. Now these are the things that I want to share. So we've been bottled up. Lord. We did the growing up. <laughs> <laughs> we grew up. Did we know? this religion? Did we? What, what were we you, doing? Uh, we'll, we'll, get you. You. we'll get you. We'll get you. Yeah, we'll get you. Uh, you've grown up. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So the decisions, mm-hmm. so many decisions we have made mm-hmm. uh, with all this around us. Religion mm-hmm. being, of course, like the Come campus. Healer, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I want to hear some of those. Anything that comes to your mind, things that you know have affected you. Gadua. <laughs> so wait a minute. Think yeah. about Child. the decisions we made cent- centering around religion. Yes, decisions for your life. Mm. Mm. Good God. Mm. Um. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Let. I, I think I can begin with decisions I made. Mm-hmm. 
I think I can begin. I don't even know whether I made this. Why like do you feel like decisions were made for you or the, until you see, what age? And then the when context, you... the mm-hmm. context itself decides for you. Okay. Like first of all, I mean creativity, curiosity mm-hmm. is a no. Yeah. Relationships is a no. Like for me, writing the word girlfriend, boyfriend, mm-hmm. that even for me that was a win. Like oh, until I think when I was, I think when I was high school, that's when I was like, okay, these things actually do happen. Mm-hmm. But before then. I know. So I think that part of religion of I mean the, the, the decisions which were made for me. Yeah. Talked about not being curious. Mm-hmm. Uh I do not I think for me oh the other and also not being curious means for me I always thought my life I'll be a pastor. Wow. And I'll just I mean either do church full time fully because again mm-hmm. how it's presented to you, it's like pastors are the people who follow God like other careers are not it yeah. you get and so the only way for you for you to serve or be a, a person who's <coughs> important in the society mm-hmm. is for you to do God's work yeah. God's work equals pulpit full stop okay. equals the church mm-hmm. full stop mm-hmm. so like uh, veering into other careers for me it wasn't something which was quite yeah. clear yeah. yeah so I guess it's made it was made for me mm-hmm. yeah Okay. And uh you, Manjiro? For me, I mean it's a it's a mix of religion and a mix of also how I grew up. Okay. You know, growing up in my grandmother's house, never being raised by my mother. So all those things were conspiring together. So I, I needed to like color within the lines because A, I don't want to be de housed, I don't want to be homeless, oh, yeah. Yeah. and B, I don't want to go to hell, and C, I don't want Jesus to, to go cry. back to the cross <laughs> <laughs> and to be pierced yeah. on the side. Yeah. So I, I was a person who, like, I have to color within the lines yeah. because there's so much at stake. Mm-hmm. Even the world will end if I make a mistake. Oh, wow. If I even look at a person, even if I look at a man funny, mm-hmm. the, the world will just, Jesus will just collapse because of this pain wow. is in, yeah. So there's that. So there's coloring within the lines. So, so obviously there's a lot of restraint. There's also uh, this thing about not questioning your elders, mm-hmm. even if they're wrong, mm-hmm. even if you're right and they're wrong. I couldn't say anything mm-hmm. because I'm just like, hey, Papa, yes, what I can see can appear. I mean, I don't want to annoy anyone. I don't want to annoy any adult around mm-hmm. me because I I don't know how the situation is going to be like. There's also the thing, even music. My choice in music. I struggled with music. Beyonce, darling. Oh, <laughs> queen. <laughs> <laughs> Mama Africa, Mama B. Yeah. <laughs> I struggled. Mm-hmm. Like I love music. Mm-hmm. I'm a singer. Mm-hmm. I love music. But then listening to sec like my greatest challenge was listening to secular music. What yeah. is even secular music? Secular music is music that does not have Jesus in the in lyrics. Yes. If Jesus, even if 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 a song has a diamond. Oh, has black and white. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that is Illuminati song. Is, yeah. Oh my God. I, Nasaio, I am a praise and worship. I am a praise and worship leader. Mm-hmm. I've always been a praise and worship leader. Yeah. But now you can only listen to one specific set of music. So there's a gap of music. Like mm-hmm. there, it's that. It's just like being afraid to do something wrong, mm-hmm. being afraid to sin. And I think that has. I, I, Sometimes I feel like that has been the approach even in my life. Like b- yeah. before you even think about anything, you're you're, you're so you're thinking of critical. You're so yeah. self-critical. Yeah. You're so conscious. Mm-hmm. You're you're just thinking, who, are, who is like, um, mm-hmm. you know? You're just like mm-hmm. and so. When I realized that mm. now I've been on this other side, I am rioting. Mm-hmm. I am being I'm being um, you know I am being chaotic. <laughs> I am going to say what does not you, you yeah. know like because I am also it's the um. It's also like a form of healing for me, yeah. just to just rebel mm. for the sake of it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, I totally agree. Just for the sake of yeah. it. Yeah. Auntie, this is blue. No, it's black. Mm. Why? Mm. Because why can't it? <laughs> yeah. Why can't it not be black? Yeah. Auntie, women are supposed to be like this. No, but me, I want to be like this. Mm-hmm. You know, even the sexuality part of yeah. it, where you are now terrified of sex, you're terrified of not being a virgin, yeah. you're terrified of not being. Now it's like. Okay, no, still. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sexuality is still a thing that yeah. is, you know, you can, that one. you can really be reckless mm-hmm. and you can, just for the sake of it, because you've been told, don't do this thing. Girls are supposed to be like this and women are supposed to be like this. Yeah. And then, so now you're coming into church. Um, you'll be, uh, so in church, you're being taught about purity, the purity mm-hmm. culture. And you, where you're coming from, you have been raped as a child. Yeah. So what did you walk into church? And this is my, my, my experience. Yeah. And yeah. so everyone is talking about purity. So me, mm-hmm. I felt that was like I felt dirty, no one will ever look at me and want me because I am this impure being. 
But then you're not saying this thing. You're quiet because you're being told men like virgins, men like this. So even I stayed away from from that. It was just like, okay, me, me, I'm just going to be here by myself because me, I'm not a virgin. This does not apply to me. Respecting myself as a woman does not apply to me because anyway, I will never be pure for this kind of yeah. situation. I will never be pure for yeah. this. You said something about music. Yeah. Mm. You couldn't even listen to Cat Franklin. I know, right? Yeah, Cat Franklin. 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 was not gospel. Yeah, but he was saying he's bringing the revolution. Yeah, we did the revolution, the revolution. from here. Like, yeah. ah. That song is not worshipping God. It's not worshipping God. I remember Cat Franklin. Oh my God. God. I struggled with that concept of secular. Yeah. A long time. And secular music was not, it was anything that was not him. Mm-hmm. Anything exactly. that was not leading you into worship, uh-huh. so you could anything even that some, makes you move some your local body. gospel songs were not, not gospel. Cannot, uh, no, they cannot. They cannot be. They go, I can't. I mean, unless it's uh, those people we know. These people have stopped praising God. No, they are singing funny, funny. No, they are singing funny, funny. Oh at my at God! I remember someone said one. Yeah. At, at, at Franklin's album mm-hmm. cover, mm-hmm. he had one sheet. <laughs> he doesn't want you to see Saturn in his yeah, eyes or something ah, like that. Friend. It was I mean, bad. There was, there was that, and then now uh, for music, the second thing is on sexuality again. Mm. I always struggle to date or why they call yeah. it sexual purity. Mm. Yeah. Why? Because there are sexual people. Yeah. yeah. I'd rather you call it sexual management. Mm. Mm. Sexual management makes a lot of sense. I would rather you say wow. it's sexual management where yeah. you're in charge of your sexuality yeah. and you decide what to do yeah. with it. Yeah. Because the idea of telling people, and that's actually something I really don't like to date, mm-hmm. telling people that their sexuality somewhat is not pure. Mm-hmm. You see, it's not even spoken of directly. It's like it's such a taboo. Yeah. And you we are a sexual me. At the center of you. Sexuality. <laughs> like even if you are you are conceived through IVF okay, or you okay. are conceived through other means that yeah. are not sexual. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but still, somebody has to experience some uh, some yeah. sensation. Yeah. You, I, can't. you can't. Yes. I, I just wanted to say mm. I have kids now. Mm-hmm. I'm just looking at them and I'm seeing my young ones mm-hmm. the way they want to pleasurize themselves or whatever it is when they get bored. And it was terrifying for me. Mm. I'm like, oh, okay, oh my God, how do I handle this? What's going on here? Is she yeah. masturbating? <laughs> she's, but we, she's not even four years old. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think it's when we went, went to campus, there's something mm-hmm. called uh, libido. We learned it in school and how even kids experience libido from different at different points of their lives. Yeah. Oh. So when a child is three months old, yeah. their libido is in their mouth, but mm. they like mom yeah. and breast. Yeah. And then it continues it, like it that. Moves, even, it yeah, it moves to anal. By the time you're yeah. 15, yeah. your sensation moves now to your mm-hmm. regions. Yeah. Like mm. your, your private regions. Keeps moving. Keeps moving. So okay. I guess that's it. But you see, it just underscores the fact. Sexual. So calling it sexual purity and it being spoken in terms of uh, like whispers. Yeah. At, at you know she sinned. No, she didn't. She did. Or when you get pregnant, especially yeah, like, for the women, and you're yeah. excommunicated, yeah. or if you come from a church where they take holy communion, you can't take holy communion yeah. because you you sinned. It's a whole big deal. It's a whole it's, situation. It's a, it's a bad thing. So yeah. even the married women who are now having sex in their marriages, yeah. I used to hear people like when I used to go to church, I used to hear women saying they don't have sex on Sundays because Sunday is a holy day, and I'm just like and sex is not a holy thing because why would it like yeah and, mm-hmm. yeah and if you do please play amazing grace on the background on the background to sanctify when you your have, act to sanctify like but, but what is this is a human yeah, experience I mean, what yeah, about it's a, a lot yeah, yeah it's a lot yeah. there's so much so i wanted to pick on uh, the fear and lack of creativity mm. growing up because that has come out a lot is the way you've mentioned it and Nigeria you've mentioned okay you didn't use the word fear but you it came out yeah. like we've grown up in a lot of fear yeah and i wanted to ask do you think if religion was introduced to us differently maybe we would consume it with an open mind do you think we would ask questions do you think we would uh, be able to say yes or no some things we are believing some things we are not do you think we would just absorb it the way you know i don't think religion and open mind go in the same place but i don't know i, I actually <laughs> think i think there's a way to be for that can be presented yeah uh, differently mm-hmm. and this is where mm-hmm. it centers you mm-hmm. as a human being yes okay yes, yes. and not just as a human being centers you as an african person yeah. an african woman an african boy mm-hmm. 
it has to have you at the center yes so first mm -hmm. it validates who you are yes. it validates your humanness mm -hmm. where mm -hmm. uh, you're told okay you're an african this is what it means mm -hmm. you have this hair you have what then you're a human being mm -hmm. you have feelings you have what you have a your sexual being mm -hmm. all those things okay yeah. and then it's presented in context and this is what i say because mm -hmm. um one of the things what some of the, how religion is used also it's used to manipulate as i've said yeah. and you realize parents don't know how, how to raise their kids okay yeah that's okay. the work we have to they do not, they know to raise their kids they know to do so them like easy, yeah. you, you give you, you got a family because you turned 35 mm -hmm. or two. we build up okay yeah. so what are you doing exactly do you have no idea so what you're doing using religion to manipulate kids to discipline mm -hmm. and all those kind of things so first of all let's see center know you begin with self-awareness yeah. know yeah. who you are understand who you are yeah. then present religion yeah. in a way f in a way that now complements and if if it if it says anything contrary to who you are mm -hmm. it's rejected yeah, yeah i always say for religion you have to consume it like a buffet mm -hmm. so you go to eat and then you pass you, you pass pick, this food yeah. you pick this i'm not having this mm -hmm. that's what i always say because mm. it comes when you take it wholly as is mm. it, it's it's super flawed it's super flawed first of all let's assume it's i mean i don't think we have dom predominantly an african religion or kenyan religion or we use hebrew hebrews we yeah. and those are their cultures and some yeah. things used to do a total nonsense like and so many things why? even that are written in the bible which we pick sentences and mm. run with they yeah. were specifically yeah. for them yeah. and even if even if even if even if you picked a paragraph even a book mm -hmm. there are books i don't read because i just mm -hmm. dq last mm -hmm. okay like i don't know if you have I've heard the story about the guy who was apparently brothers who were apparently killed by god because they refused to impregnate their yeah. sister in law yeah. like what nonsense is that they, they wanted to they refused to they refused perpetuate on a on a as even as the spirit of honor and masturbation is onanism i mean what non oh. for me i'm like what is this and yeah. why do you pick that up why do you not first center the child before yeah. now telling them this is who you are so mm. that themselves they can see mm. this is wrong Yeah. because I'm a human being mm -hmm. I'm this I'm a girl I'm an African yeah. especially African uh, yes. you cannot be center add, yourself let me just add the African how, like how religion came into yeah. our lives yeah. like like this religion we practice it's a colonial religion mm -hmm. it was a colonial that was brought by white people yeah. Yeah. so the angels are white Jesus is white oh, yes. so the white. god is white he's a old white man with gray mm -hmm. hair and, and purity things. looks like white purity is white and black is black white. is evil and black is evil but you have a black skin but you yourself you have a black skill god has long hair. in fact the church i used to go to it was mm -hmm. a very whiteness church mm -hmm. because now when i started understanding whiteness and then you realize this church likes um you, you know that church you, you know, know that church, church. Yeah, yeah. so you couldn't go with your fro hair mm -hmm. you couldn't go with just and you had to have lipstick you had to look a certain way you had to wear stockings you have to wear flowers you have to wear all these things those things are not us <laughs> If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. It's free. There are creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcast, Pocket Cast, Spotify, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. You've had it guys. This is only part 1, so tune in for part 2 and let's keep the conversation going on the socials. Thank you for listening. It is always a pleasure to have hosted you. Thank you for listening. Follow us on the socials, Instagram and Twitter at be different ke at i am nekesa. Facebook is nekesa ochieng. Let's keep talking.